Ollie Matthews here, creator of the Revitalization Blueprint, optimization and accountability coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs. Before I dive into this video, if any of the content resonates with you, head over to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. You can get your first month for just $1. Loads of videos, workouts, training, nutrition, and that secret, how we get accountability. It continues at $30 a month. So revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. Have you ever noticed that some days you have less energy than others? It's never that consistent progression with energy. A lot of the times it's actually low, but there are reasons for this. I'm going to go through five energy killers and five energy boosters that you can implement pretty much instantly to get some really great results when it comes to optimizing your energy. Let's go through the energy killers first. The big one here, number one, is alcohol. I'm not the sort of coach that says to everyone, go zero alcohol instantly or anything like that, but if you can cut it down, if you're drinking a lot, then alcohol is gonna zap you of your energy. It interferes with your sleep and your circadian rhythm. It's potentially high in calories. And also, your body has to burn these calories in alcohol before it then goes to actually burn the carbohydrates, fats and proteins or anything like that. And there's seven calories per gram. Also, when you have alcohol, potentially, you are going to be very, very dehydrated. That means your body is going to be craving salt and things like this, and your alcohol is going to just mean you get more cravings generally. So alcohol is one of the big energy killers. The second one is high sugar levels. High sugar levels, big spikes in insulin in your blood sugar is going to mean a big crash, means more cravings, means your energy is all over the place. Yes, it's cool to have some good sugar post-workout or something like that after you've actually earned it. But having a diet which is full of processed, high sugar, high GI foods consistently is actually going to mean you have a lot lower energy. You might have a spike for 10 minutes, but then, then you're going to feel really sluggish and crave some more. The third one is living a sedentary lifestyle. If you work at a desk all day, you're going to find that after a few hours you get really tired, your hips get tight, maybe having a standing desk is going to help, but you could just go for a walk for five minutes and that is going to help you with your sedentary lifestyle, which essentially is a big energy killer. Number four is poor sleep, whether that's your sleep pattern or the quality of your sleep. It's hard to establish a good circadian rhythm, which is the way the body actually is designed to function when the sun rises and when the sun goes to sleep, especially if you're traveling through different time zones. And then getting an optimal quality of sleep is even harder if you've not got the right nutrition in your body. Also, studies have shown that even six weeks or two weeks of less than six hours sleep, you can reduce your testosterone by around 15, 20%. That is a lot. Two weeks means you could age yourself 15 to 20 years by just sleeping less than you actually need. And the fifth one that could kill your energy are specific health problems, things like depression, things like your thyroid function, fibromyalgia and other autoimmune diseases, which are highly linked to the quality of food and fuel you put into your body. Those are the energy killers. Now let's get to that boosting your energy all day long that we all love. Energy boosters. Get some natural vitamin D. Vitamin D, as you Americans like to say. That could be coming from the sun, if not supplement, if you live in an area where you don't get too much sun. But going outside and getting your vitamin D is going to be great for boosting your energy and boosting your testosterone levels as well. Number two is hydration. You look outside in the hot weather and you see a plant, you see a flower that's dehydrated, it's all droopy and it's all brown and horrible. You give that flower water. It starts to love it, soaking it all up, thriving, getting the energy to grow and bloom and blossom. That's what you need to be doing with your body. Around 70%, 60 to 70% of your body is water. Even a few percent is gonna impact your brain function, let alone your physical function. Number three is having good snacks, like a handful of nuts, getting some jerky, getting some protein in there, a small protein shake, something with fiber. It's going to help you keep your blood sugar levels consistent year round. 
and daily you can get these in there and it means you're not going to have these drops of energy. You're not going to have these blood sugar spikes and everything like that. The fourth thing is just to go for a walk. I said this on the sedentary lifestyle part. If you go for a walk, even 10 minutes, just 15 minutes or something like that, in between the middle of the day, between certain areas and certain roles you are playing and certain jobs, tasks you are undertaking, then you're going to get a boost in energy for the next few hours. Sometimes I like to split my workouts out. So I have, say, 20, 30 minute workouts twice a day. Why? The next three, four hours, I feel amazing. Sometimes if I have a hard workout in the morning and don't move for the rest of the day, I feel tired. So I have to get up and go for a walk. And the fifth one is taking some time for yourself. Five, 10 minutes just to breathe. Do some box breathing, some meditation. Just be present in the moment. Give your body some respect and you'll see some amazing, amazing results. If you want to talk about optimizing your energy, getting the accountability to have your health where you deserve it to be, give me a shout. If you drop a comment, drop a DM, go to ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com and send me an email, or simply go to the website, click contact me, and we can book in a revitalization call pretty much instantly. I look forward to chatting with you.